welcome to my video today. I have a couple things that I want to share with you. It's the beginning of November, so I have several brand new things for you. The first thing is going to be my monthly calendar. There will be a link in the YouTube description below and over on my website for you to print this calendar out. It has all of my activities for the month, and then it also has sprinkled in there some fun um, things that you can do, some fun inspirational things. And the funny thing for this month's calendar is I put make a shaker card on there twice. So if y'all know how I feel about shaker cards and how much I love them, <laughs> maybe uh, this will change my mind with two inspirational slots being focused on shaker cards. So I want to jump right into what I will be sharing with you guys today, which is the my favorite card kit of the month. My favorite card kit of the month is a card kit that I send to you when you place an order with me. So when you spend $35 with me during the month, I will send you this card that we are going to make. I'm going to be using this really beautiful heartfelt wishes paper. This is a returning favorite. It's in the very back of the catalog you can see here. And I really love it. It's actually my favorite Christmas paper out of the catalog because it's very traditional. It's very red and green and it just has a really great Christmas feel. I feel like it's getting a little bit lost in the very back of the catalog. So I um, thought I would use it this month. This month, my host code special for you is a embossing folder. So right here, you can see this. It is the Mary Melody 3D embossing folder. When you spend $50 with me or more in the month, I will send you this embossing folder. And no worries, if you already have this embossing folder, you are welcome to pick out a different embossing folder. So this is my November ordering special. It goes from October 25th, which we are already past, but it started on October 25th and it will go until November 17th when I will have a new host code special for you. So at $35, you will get the card kit, my favorite card kit. It comes with this video and the PDF, the exclusive PDF. And then at $50, you get both of those, my favorite card kits, along with the embossing folder if your order is $50 or more. Let's get started with the card now. So we're going to use this heartwarming hugs pattern paper. And like I said, it's in the very, very back of the catalog. And I feel like it's getting overlooked a tiny bit. But we had this last year in our holiday catalog and I really love it. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna use a piece of this designer paper to make my entire card base. And you will get this card base exactly like this. Um, it will just be folded so it will fit in the envelope. But I wanted to show you the measurements that you do when you are using a piece of pattern paper to create your card base. So I want a top folding card. So I'm going to trim this at four and a quarter. That's gonna be my first cut. And then what I'm gonna to need to do is cut it at 11. So that's gonna give me a standard A2 size card which is going to be four and a quarter by five and a half. So yours will be folded for you. And then your card kit also comes with an envelope. So it is all ready for you to send out. So we did that. So now the next thing I'm going to do is take a piece of basic white and I use the thick whisper white for this because I want to add some stability to this card. And when you make your card base out of pattern paper, it tends to be a little bit thinner because pattern paper is thinner. So you just want to add some stability to that. And then of course you will need a space to write your message anyway. So it works out really well. So now I'm taking our next layer, which is three and a half by four and a quarter. And then that is going to go all the way across um, your designer paper here. And I love these two designs together. They're really pretty with that real red and then the old olive. 
So the next piece I have here is the little sliver that I, so it's an inch because it is what was left from when I cut it at 11. So that is a inch. And then it is the stripes, which are going to be inside the card as well. So I like to bring a little bit of whatever is on the inside to the outside of the card because it ties it in really well. And then I'm taking my stitched rectangle here and I'm going to do some stamping. And there are a couple places where I make a little bit of a mistake, um, but I'm going to show you how to fix that. And then I just wanted to point out on this stamp set that you have the cupcake and the caramel apple and then some really great sentiments. So it's not just for Christmas. I think sometimes we forget that some of these Christmas sets definitely have some other items mixed in with them. So don't forget to look in your stash for the stamp sets that you have. So this is gonna stretch directly across my stitched rectangle. And I'm going to stamp everything in Memento Black ink because I'm going to be coloring with my blends. So when you're using alcohol markers, which is what our blends are, you wanna make sure that you are stamping in Memento Black ink. Any other color medium that you're using, you're going to be able to stamp in stays on. Um, but for blends, you will definitely want to stamp in Memento. And you can see that stretches edge to edge, which is not necessarily a bad thing. That's totally fine. It just takes up the entire die cut. So on this next part that I stamp, you will notice um, I'm pulling it closer so I can look right down at it. I'm sorry about my head right there. And I still, even getting it really close to me and looking above it, I still did not get that stamp all the way to the bottom so it looks like it's sitting on the tray. I will fix that later when we do our coloring, but I did not get that on, they didn't line up basically. And I probably should have used my stamp apparatus or my stamp positioning tool for this. I think that I would have got a better result, but I was already into it. And so I'm definitely gonna fix it when we do some coloring and I'll show you how to do that. But my best advice for stamps like this that need to be very specifically lined up is to use your stamp positioning tool. So I grabbed my blends and we're going to do some coloring here. I grabbed Cherry Cobbler, Real Red, Old Olive, Crumb Cake, and then I will also use Smoky Slate, uh, just one of the colors. And then I also have my writer markers here. One was dried out, so I just grabbed my other one. And I just made a line and then I added this little part to the bottom of the pie to make it look like it's setting on top of something and it's not just floating there in the middle of the air. And then with my black marker, I made some scallops on the bottom of that um, glass part. And then I'm going to color that later so that it looks more like it's sitting on the pedestal instead of just floating in the middle of the air, right? So I'm not always good about those types of things with stamping, but... I try, right? We just try. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's handmade. So with my blends here, I'm taking my dark, which is what I start with, and I'm adding where those lines are and on the edge. And then I'm coming back with my light and blending that out. And then you're going to see at the bottom here, I go out of the lines a little bit, and I will show you how to fix that at the end. Um, my red, my real red light marker is... Um, or that might be my cherry cobbler ones that I'm using. Anyways, the tip of it is slightly um, mangled, and so it just was real easy for it to get out of the out of the um, lines. And um, I will fix that. So, so I'm just gonna finish coloring in the heart with red, and then I'll bring my dark old olive in, and I will add that to the um, outside. I don't do any blending. Remember, you don't have to always do blending when you're using your blend markers. Um, I just like the texture that blend markers give. Um, I think that they're very, very forgiving. So if you don't like coloring um, or you feel like you're not great at it, using blend markers 
are going to just be very forgiving. So I came in with my light first and gave it a wash of color. And then I'm going back and you can see I'm just adding some highlights here and there. And then I come back in with my light and I blend all of that out. And again, I, you can see I'm not being careful at all. I'm just giving it some shading. And then for the scallops that I did, I went ahead and added green to that. And you can see that that helps just connect those two pieces. And again, it's not perfect, but I don't know that you could even tell if you didn't know that that was drawn in. I don't know that you would actually um, be able to really tell. So I'm going to add some foam to the back of this. And then my sentiment that I do, you're going to see the sentiment in the photo, I ran out of time to um, add that sentiment. I needed to go pick up my kids from school, so I had to cut it short. But you'll see the sentiment there on the um, in the photo. So I take my sand eraser and I erase a little bit at the bottom there. It's very soaked into the paper, so it's not going to erase as well as other ink would. But then I just take my white gel pen and I just clean that line up a little bit. And it... It worked well enough. Like it's not perfect again, but it worked so it's not so obvious. So I'm going to take and put a strip of cardstock here for my sentiment and you're going to see that in the final photo. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and checking out this card. Again, this these are all the items you will get for my favorite card kit, and those get shipped out right when you place an order with me. I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I will be back in another video later this week. Thank you so much for checking out my videos. Here on the screen, you're going to see two other videos that you can check out. I would love for you to do all the YouTube-y things, subscribe to my channel, hit that bell so you get notified whenever I post a video, and I will catch you in my very next crafty video.